Pow is popping, guys. It's JC Flores, a.k.a. Party Life Music, right here for DJClasses.com. It's right, the place that we hope, you know, that we can create the dopest, flyest, coolest DJs on the planet, you know. Um, and um, I hope that you guys are enjoying the tutorial series uh, that we've been doing for you guys here. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions, make sure to log on to DJClasses.com. Send us an email. Um, or when you register with djclasses.com, we actually email you guys back five free DJ tips that's really going to help enhance um, and make you the dopest, flyest DJ on the planet. At least we hope to. Uh, make sure to hit and like, subscribe the button here. Um, and without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and dive in. So today's tutorial, guys, if you haven't done so, make sure you go back and log on. Uh, to djclasses.com to check out earlier uh, videos of like warping, making intros and outros, quick hitter edits, stuff like that because uh, those techniques and theories you could actually apply um, on today's tutorial as well as future tutorials. So uh, I already have everything kind of laid out for you guys here um, and I'm going to kind of walk uh, like a step by step on how I did that. Um, obviously for the purposes because this is a smaller video as long as you guys subscribe to us there will be more videos where I'm actually going to be able to have more time um, and we'll be able to become or we'll be able to be a lot more creative on the content that I'm showing you guys um, but without further ado we're just going to dive in like I said so uh, I brought in a track uh, this is a track that I produced uh, for a artist out in Maryland the DC DMV area his name's Sencio. Um you could actually pick this up on Spotify or iTunes it's called Tentativa it is a reggaeton remix uh, you could actually check out the original uh, his version on uh, YouTube but I wanted to do something different and that's what I was hoping um, that came across with this and he liked it so you know that was a happy client so I'm happy right um, so I, I like to label things so here as you can see let's focus on this part right here first um, and the first thing that you guys do obviously is you find out the tempo of the song so this particular tempo is set at 89 and I set the project tempo at 91 so uh, let's go ahead and set this at 89, right? Now what I did was, is as you can remember, I found the first downbeat, which I told Ableton I want it to set right there. Then I also told Ableton, I opened it back up and I said I want it to warp here from straight. That, that way it's telling Ableton, all right, cool, everything that I'm warping here is going to go on grid at this time, at this point of the song. Uh, and what I did was, is I sent different warp markers that you can see here. Right, just to help align the song. Go right here, and then towards the end, because uh, I'm playing the piano, I, I didn't really. I was using uh, like a regular metronome to, to try to stay on grid when I recorded it. Uh, but you know, this is what I did here. We'll just solo that. Well, let's bring it back. Right there. Party life music. Bad vibes studio. <laughs> so it's pr it's pretty much like I'm playing um, I'm playing I think uh, triads yeah they're like some triads and minor fifth chords um, to kind of give it that sensual feeling like because this, this, the song is a story and so I'm just trying to complement that story by adding some extra stuff in that as well. Uh, now what I, the second thing I did is, and what I forgot to label it, it's going to be uh, original. Uh, now, um, in this case original for the purposes of the tutorial and this right here is the acapella. So um, a nice trick that I like to do that may seem tedious at first is dropping the acapella and aligning it with the actual song which I did so I told Ableton I wanted to start here and uh, because this remix has got an artist that I was working with on at the time her name's Keachi on the second verse I didn't really use the rest of the song as you can see here I kinda cut that off so I'm gonna delete that uh, the second thing is is I wanted to try to find out the sweet spot or where I wanted to actually start the acapella intro 
right? So I said, Sigo mi corazón y me lleva a ti, y mis pensamientos te desean a ti. Por eso quisiera una noche contigo. Eres tentativa. Cool. So what I did was, is I told Ableton, or I just copied, once I warped this, I copied and pasted it right here, as you can see labeled acapella 2. So now that we have already used these two elements, we can forget about them, and we can focus here. Now, uh, I applied a DJM filter, uh, which basically uh, is like the DJ800 uh, mixer, if you guys remember that. Um, or I'm sure it's probably still on the, was it the Nexus, I think, the Nexus mixer? It's been a while since I actually had my hands on different mixers, but, uh, you know, it, it has the same filter. So what it does is it, it has this effect where it goes like, you know what I'm saying? Where it's just like, sounds muffled right now, but then as it gradually grows and you start opening that filter, then you could start to kind of hear that. So that's kind of like a low pass, high pass filter, if you will. Um, but it creates a really cool effect when you use it on a acapella intro or acapella outro or both. Uh, and as, uh, as you guys remember, I like to use symbols to kind of use some authenticity regarding the like that kind of stuff. Uh, and then I gave it an impact you know, to remind myself, okay, boom, this is the downbeat of the acapella. So anytime I drop this acapella intro on any song, you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm mixing out of a song that's got an outro and I want to dump this acapella intro on it, I know exactly where it's going to start, right? Uh, and then I gave myself an extra bar to kind of remind myself, okay, look, this is where the actual song starts. This is where the actual acapella starts but song is always important so this is the kick and as you can see it's on point it's on grid because of the metronome so we turn that off and then we go right so we can do all right so cool it actually goes into the song everything is lined up now uh because you know i'm not on an actual like desktop and this is like a laptop where i'm doing this from it's kind of hard to hear the downbeat uh but um, you know, to kind of give it a little bit of finesse, we'll just copy this again, apply that there, and we'll just lower that. And because it, the acapella did kind of sound cut off as well, you know, when it came in, so we'll find where. See, so there you go. So now if I play it back, so let's add a little bit of a fade. There you go. See, so there's really nothing I can do to get rid of the oh, oh. but as you can tell, it kind of sounds a little bit more. Or we could just do that. So we're gonna have to leave it right there. So I think that's as best as I'm gonna be able to get it. Um, and what I did was, is I applied it, um, applied it, I applied a fade, um, you know, to to kind of complement that, to you know, to get it to sound smooth and not so hard or cold. Um, so if I hit play. Oh. 
So that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, uh, I can get more technical and more creative, but because I don't have a lot of time on this particular video, as long as you guys subscribe to djclasses.com, you know, the, the next few videos that will come out, I'll get more intricate and show you, like, some really cool techniques that you can use to apply. Um, you know, if you wanted to further, uh, you know, use this edit, you know, then at that point what I could do is, okay, I can make a quick hitter edit. So I'd go back, revisit this song, you know, find out where I want to cut some stuff out, and then apply that here. So then now I have a short, quick hitter, a cappella edit. So you're really not limited to the amount of possibilities or the uh, various ways of making the edit. This is just, you know, hopefully going to serve as some sort of platform or blueprint or foundation for you that you could apply on other edits. Guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to hit the like, subscribe, uh, comment, reshare, repost, you know, let us know if you have any requests on certain videos. Um, and if you haven't done so, log on to djclasses.com. Make sure to subscribe to us because once you do that, you're going to get five free DJ tips that are going to sent to your inbox to make you a dope, fresh, fly DJ. I know, right? It's crazy. But, you know, we're here for you guys and hopefully you enjoy the tutorials that have been coming out so far. This is JC Flores with DJClasses.com. Make sure you stay tuned because we will be coming at you real soon. Pow.